All right, let's take a look at an example. All right, this example is going to be based on an assumption. And the assumptions from biology. The assumption is that animals of a given species are similar. Now, similar means they're roughly the same shape. Okay, they might be bigger or smaller, but they're the same shape. Now, when you have similar objects, you can bring geometry into the discussion. There's a geometric theorem that says the weight of similar objects is directly proportional proportional to the cube of their heights. So algebraically, what does this statement look like? The weight is directly proportional to the cube of their heights. So let's see, we need a constant of variation and the cube of their heights. All right, so that's what we're looking at. See our beloved Mike and Aaron. Now, Mike's a little bit taller than Aaron, just a few inches. In fact, we've measured them and we've determined that Mike is 1.1 times as tall as Aaron. So just a little bit taller. All right, now, knowing that, we know that the height here is 1.1 times as tall as Aaron. How many more times does Mike weigh than Aaron? Now, the weight varies <clears throat> directly as the height cubed. So if we take this height and we make it, we multiply it times 1.1, what we're really looking at is 1.1 times the original height, and then that whole thing has to be cubed. Okay, so the height's being cubed, and so is this increase amount. So we take 1.1 to the third power, and we're going to get 1.331, and of course we will have the h to the third as well. So this amount of increase, that's how much more he weighs. All right, so let's just say that little Aaron weighs 122 pounds. Okay, there he is right there, 122 pounds. How much will Mike weigh? Well, we just take a look here at the multiplication factor. We multiply by 1.331 and we get 162.382 pounds. 162.382 pounds.